If you work with SAC, you have probably heard of the so-called cross-calculation. With a cross-calculation, you can do great things to improve your user experience. To better understand how a cross-calculation works, I'm going to show you a little example by using a simple table with one dimension and two measures, sales and profit. By the way, if possible, try to use in-cell charts in your tables. Visual tables are way better when it comes to fast perception of data. Now let's add a cross calculation to the columns. And as you can see, another little box appears and similar to the measures box, we can add a calculation. In this case, I create a restricted measure and call it year to date 2019. We don't have to select a measure because this restricted measure we create now will affect all measures in the table. Soon you will see what that means. For the sake of simplicity, I select the order date by member. Of course, you can also create a dynamic range for it. So let's say that we want to display the first two quarters. This is already interesting. We now have two measures with two different time ranges in our table. The columns with measure values show the totals and the columns with year to date 2019 show the values restricted to the first two quarters in 2019. Without a cross calculation, I had to create several restricted measures to get to the same result. So the cross calculation works as a kind of restricted measure shell and whatever measure I select, it will be restricted by this shell. Let's add another restricted measure. This time I restrict it to June 2019. And no surprise, we get a third cross calculation. But now let's do something really practical. I'm going to delete all three measures from the table and add a so-called cross calculation input control. Here I select my two new measures I created. And now look what has happened. We can switch between these two cross calculations and restrict the measures in the table. That's the great thing about cross calculations and there are countless of possibilities to make your dashboards more interactive and flexible with this feature. If you want to become the SAC expert in your team, then please check out my SAC masterclass on Udemy. Follow the link in the description and thanks for watching this video.